Welcome back, kiddos. You know, on that string butler video that I did, I realized after I had already posted it, I didn't really show you that thing up really close or let you get a good look at it. And I got these wonderful lenses now. So uh, I thought, you know, I need to make another video of that and bring the camera over here, get the, uh, maybe even put the macro lens on it and get up really close so you can really check this thing out. Now, I've been talking to the uh, company representative, maybe the, even the owner, I'm not really sure, one of them, and uh, I may very soon become a dealer on the string butler here in the States. So, you know, if you want to, if you have problems getting one or you want one and you can't uh, read the German websites, uh, give me a shout. And, uh, you know, this is in the, in the future. It's down the road a little ways. It may not be very long, but it's going to take us a while to set it up. But I might very well become a dealer for these, you know, if you are interested in them and would like to purchase one and you live in the States here where I am. So anyways, I'm going to get the camera and bring it over here and show you. This is a quick, short video to show you a close-up of it and let you really get to eyeball it a little bit. Hold on. So here it is, up very close, the String Butler. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. I don't have the macro lens on, uh, but I have a close-up lens on, so I can show you this pretty close. You can see how it mounts there. And you can see those rollers are designed to move up and down the shaft, okay? That's if you crank your string, if you want to crank it all the way down to the nut or the, the peg head, the headstock, to put more down pressure on your nut, you can still do that because the rollers will move. There you see two of them, one up and one down right there. But uh, that was well thought out, I thought. Now, like I said, normally I just made this nut, and normally I make the grooves in those nuts angled toward the pegs, okay? In this case, with the string butler, I can make the slots straight. And the string comes straight through them. There's no binding up or any weirdness. That noise you hear is the entire guitar moving. No binding. Funny enough, uh, the second string's not wound. Funny enough, before I installed that, the third, fourth, and fifth strings, all three were binding up in the nut, making a ding noise every time you would just barely turn the key. And when I started the video, I couldn't get any of them to do it. And you can see the, uh, how the string comes off the peg, goes around the, the roller. And how it rolls as you tighten or loosen the key. This guitar is going to need a fret job soon. Check that out. Yes, sir. It's not going to be very long. It's going to need a fret job. But anyways, the string butler up close and personal. And that's what it looks like up close and personal and installed. There I think you can see how the rollers work up and down the... Uh, I see one of the strings not even in the roller. Never noticed that till now. I'll fix that right away. Hold on. So there you go. A much closer look at the string butler. And like I say, if you live in the States and you want one of these, just hang on because uh, I may very well become a dealer. And uh, you can purchase them right off of me if uh, we work the deal out. It's not positive or definite yet, but it looks like we're going to be able to uh, work something out and make this happen. Hope so anyway. I'll let you know. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you next time.